morning. This is our project today. We have this little green drop necklace on 18 inch chain with the brown pearl and the pretty little dangle feather. So you're going to get everything in your kit uh, except for the pliers once again. So really all we need to make this come together is about three inches of wire and the components. So let's go ahead and get that to put together and you can start wearing it. Alright, so in the kit you're going to get your drop, a pearl, a bit of wire, the 18 inches of chain, your clasp, feather, two jump rings, about that size, and one itty bitty. No jump ring. So this is all it's going to take and about 15 minutes of your time you're going to have a um, little necklace that you can wear with just about everything. I mean these are the colors that I wear most of the time. Greens and browns and neutrals. Um, or something to give away to someone else that uh, maybe has a little bohemian flair. Alright, so we're going to take our wire and round nose pliers and about a half inch from the end and a little ways down the, um, the plier itself. You don't want a teeny tiny loop. You don't want a gigantic loop. So I'm going to go about halfway and down a half an inch. Bend all the way around. So we got a little twist there. Then bend the long end, bend it back on itself. And we're going to make that nice little loop for the drop to sit in. Thread that on there. And then we'll go. We're going to put our rounded pliers back in the loop we just made on the short end. The long one's standing up tall. I'm going to take the short end of our wire and wrap it on itself, on the long one, long end, about two or three times. It's a pretty little loop that, or the wrap that we're creating. We're going to take our snips and take that little tail off, the short one. With our teeny tiny little needle nose pliers, we're gonna go with the wire, the direction that you wrapped, and kind of tuck the little nib, tuck that little end in. So nothing's going to poke anybody. Now we're going to put our little pearl on there. And we're going to make another wrapped loop above that. Um, but going the opposite way. See this loop is going this way so it's um, housing the drop nicely. This loop is going to house the chain. So we want it to go opposite. This guy. So just above the pearl, I'm going to pinch at the very tip of my rounded pliers, bend straight back, come up on the top of that bend, and a pretty good size because we want that chain to go through. And bend it back toward the front. We're going to bring it around once, twice, fill in that space in between the wrap here and your pearl. Should take about two and a half wraps. I'm going to take that tail off. 
Go back in with your little needle nose. And tuck that in. And then back at the end, um, back in here in the V, there should be a flat spot in most needle nose wires. So we're going to take that nice flat bit instead of the teethy grip, the tooth up here. We're going to take the flat part, grab a hold of it. Make sure that the two loops are running opposite each other and everything is nice and square and straight. Alright, so there's the majority of our wraps. So now we're going to put all these guys together. Um, this necklace is really an exercise in um, perfecting your um, your wrapped loops, top and bottom here, and opening jump rings. So again, I'm going to go over opening jump rings. Um, I've mentioned in other videos, this is a really important uh, part of jewelry making to get these little jump rings open and closed just right because if they don't fit right back together, you're going to have components falling off your necklace. So we're going to get a hold of one of the, let's say, is that about a three, no, a five millimeter jump ring. There should, there should be two in your kit. And we're going to open it up in a sweeping motion. Do not open your jump rings away from each other like this when you open up the circle. They'll never go back together, right? And it creates a weak point down here at the bottom where they've come apart. So if you open your jump ring in a sweeping motion, put it back together in a sweeping motion, your jewelry is just going to last longer. And be prepared. So we're going to take our little feather, pop it on there, and put that on the top loop of the centerpiece we just made. And grab our other set of pliers at the other end of the jump ring and close it up in that sweeping motion. See that? That one's closed up. So we're going to take one end of our 18 inches of chain and we're going to weave it through. Hopefully we've made that loop at the top of our fun stuff big enough a perfect fit and I like to lay it down this end that's in your right hand if you are right handed you want to make sure that your clasp ends up over here and the jump ring it's going to attach to is on the left side if you're a lefty or if you're giving this to a lefty you know, put the clasp on the left. But just as a general rule, I put the clasp on the right. So we're going to take our 3 millimeter jump ring, the smaller of the three. Try and get a hold of it with our little needle nose just to the side of where it opens. And take our other needle nose, sweeping motion, open it up. 
We're going to pop our chain on there. And clasp. And hold them to end. Got a lot stacked on there, so sometimes it's hard to get a hold of to close it. And with that sweeping motion, we're going to close it back up. So, one thing I always do, especially with lobster claws and a C clasp, also. Before I put it on a necklace, I always make sure that it opens okay and closes itself. Sometimes a little spring goes bad in the back or they're just cheaply made. Um, I got some one time that were a fun color, but um, the enamel or whatever they had used to make it that fun color had gone up in the mechanism. The spring didn't work and didn't close. So just double check them um, before you put it on <laughs> and give it to somebody. So there we go. We've got that lobster claw clasp on this side with our teeny tiny little jump ring on our 18 inch chain. Now we're going to take the other 5 millimeter jump ring. Get a hold of it with your pliers just to the side of the opening. See it's sitting right there at the top. Sweeping motion, open her up. Pop that on the other side of your chain. <laughs> For me, that's going to be the left because I'm a righty, I want the clasp on the right side. And then we'll close it up with that sweeping motion. Give it a little pinch, make sure that those two ends meet back together. Here we go. It's a necklace.